Hey everyone, welcome again on Davis Tech channel. And in this video, we are going to work on accordion. Okay, you can see here that what we are going to do in this video. So this is a first level of accordion, and this will going to be a second level of accordion, and this is a third level. Okay, so in this video, we are going to achieve this UI. Okay, and uh, those viewer who came here to just know about the accordion, how to implement accordion in a uh, Flutter. So just don't worry that we're going to do everything from scratch. Okay, so it it is kind of independent video from this series. Okay, this Mintra clone series. So in the last video in the Mintra clone series, we work on this home page. I mean the product detail page. And in this video, we're going to work on a categories page, and everything we're going to do from the scratch. And it will be independent from the last video. So so just don't worry. You can watch this video, and uh, yeah. So this is uh, this is pretty uh, pretty much that we're going to work on this accordion and we're going to create this accordion first. Actually, we will go. I mean, the main goal is to create uh, this particular accordion, okay? And so, but this video will just create a skeleton, and in the next video, we're going to finish all the uh, UI stuff, okay? I mean, the whole the, the whole finish finishing touch we have here, okay? And so, yeah, watch the video till the last you will learn a lot and uh, yeah just one thing that just don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me to make such videos and i just put a lot of effort over here so yeah i just need a favor just don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video share the video to your friend if possible also do comment on a uh, uh, videos uh, so it will like give a suggestion to other people okay so yeah let us start writing the code so let us start writing the code in a categories tab we don't have anything as of now so what we need to do let's create first a uh, new folder called ui okay and uh, the first thing we will going to create is the this particular tile okay because you can see that uh, we are reusing the same tile again and again inside a list you can think about that okay and every tile have some certain properties it have a title okay along with the title we have this particular arrow icon and the second thing we have a subtitle and the last thing we have a image okay so let's work on that thing and apart from that everything we have certain kind of uh, background okay and that background is actually a uh, image and uh, yeah we will come to that part later but let's create a file main category tiles okay dot dot file so this is our first uh, ui component which we're going to use inside our categories first thing let's import a material dot dot package and second thing let's create a stateless widget let's put the name as a main category tile okay and now what we're going to use over here is we're going to use a special widget called expansion tile because you know that once we will click on this particular tile then it should be expanded okay and it should show a next level uh, accordion okay for that we're going to use a expansion tile and uh, every tile in a flutter have a four property i mean four mandatory property called title okay and have subtitle and leading and trailing okay we will going to mostly utilize this title okay let's see it uh, in action that if i will put something as a text okay so if i will put header here okay and hit the save then nothing will happen uh, because we have to import it over here right so yeah here what we are doing that we are using a safe area and we just using a simple text so instead of that let's use a column widget as of now okay so let's use a column widget just to visualize this uh, particular thing we are working okay and let's use a children and inside the children let's use our main category tile okay and uh, as you can see that that particular tile came and if i will click on a tile then you will find it is kind of expanding but nothing is able to, we are not able to show anything because Every expansion tile along with this four property called title, trailing, 
and uh, leading so these are the four property every type tile have even the list tile we have a normal flutter widget this kind of four property they should have okay subtitle so apart from this four property this expansion tile will come with the another property called children so whatever you will put inside a children will come when you expand this particular tile so if i will put this header too if i will hit the save then that will come here okay so it will come after the expansion so because this will going to be the same so this is the need to use a expansion tile okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, particular title to create our ui okay so what i will do i will going to use a container and uh, in the container let's put a height as of now i'm going to put a height 100 because it should have 100 minimum okay and uh, i'm going to use a child and in the child what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a row widget first why i'm using a row widget okay so let's think about that if we have a two thing if we have uh, this thing and if we have a this thing so to put those two thing in a horizontal way we should use a row widget okay so that's why i'm going to use a row widget okay so the first thing as of now i'm going to use as a text okay let's forget about the subtitle and this arrow button okay so let's use a uh, main woman or some okay so let's use woman and uh, oh i have a screenshot of the next accordion for the main so let's use a main first okay and uh, let's use a style let's use a text style to style the text okay so if i will hit the save then you will find that the main came over here okay and uh, let's just style it and uh, what we're going to use we will going to use a font width first the font width will going to be font width dot bold and the next thing will going to be font size font size will going to 24 maybe okay so this came here okay so this is our first children of the row and the second children of the row will going to be uh, image okay we're not talking about the other thing here we're just talking about the image here okay but before that let's go here inside uh, expansion tile and expansion tile have a color we have a multiple color property but i'm going to use a collapse background color when this tile is collapse at that time what kind of color we wanted to show let's hard code it as of now colors dot tile uh, till okay so to see the changes i had to refresh the page so that came here okay and uh, this is our first children and let's add a second children and the second children will going to be a image widget and uh, i'm going to use a image dot asset or you can think about the asset image okay so actually i have downloaded one particular image and that image is the main trans widget uh, image okay and uh, let's specify the path so if you haven't used a set image yet then you should know that in a pubspec.yaml file we already uh, specified our asset image part okay so we already specified this asset folder so we can directly access this uh, asset image over here so let's use assets slash image the exact path and exact name will going to be man trans transparent dot png okay so if i will hit the save then you will find that this kind of error is coming okay and uh, one minute let's use a real name might be i'm doing something wrong over here for the path because it it is not able to load the path so let's go over here and uh, 
the path will going to be assets slash images oh i just forgot the s okay so that has created a trouble for me so we got that image over here right and uh, every row widget will come with the main axis alignment if we wanted to access a uh, horizontal okay uh, horizontal space so and i wanted to use a uh, space and let's use a space between okay and uh, we got that image we got this uh, main so let's think about the next uh, thing is the next thing is the we have to work on this particular section and for that what i will do uh, first thing let's remove this particular drop down okay drop down arrow button and for that let's use a trailing property and let's use a size box dot sim it will just remove that particular arrow icon and um, yeah and next thing we're going to i have to wrap this particular text widget inside a row widget again why i'm wrapping this thing because you can see that if you think about this particular section that then you will find that we have a two different widget the first widget is the text widget and the second widget is the arrow widget i mean icon widget that's why the first widget is now a text widget and the second widget we will going to put is the icon okay and it will be a uh, icons dot arrow down maybe arrow drop down let's put a arrow drop down as of now okay that came here and let's use a cons as of now okay so and we can have a size around 30 or maybe 35 those two thing is came so here we have a row widget and inside the row widget we are having a two different widget and now what i wanted to do here again i wanted to wrap this row widget inside another widget called column why i am wrapping this widget inside a column widget and doing this step by step because now we got these two thing right and now we need to cater this thing also for that we should use a column widget because if you think now this is a one widget okay and this is a second widget and to align us to particular widget in a uh, this wise i mean vertical wise we have to use a column widget okay and for that what i'm going to do is i have wrapped the first uh, row widget inside a column widget and the first children will going to be uh, that combined widget and now the second children will going to be again a text widget okay and let's copy this particular text okay i can copy it i guess and let's paste it over here okay and uh, yeah now we got a overflow issue okay uh, but we will come to that part later let's first fix this alignment i want to start this this two widget from the start only that's why i will go inside a column widget to get access in a horizontal way inside a column we have to use a cross axis alignment and let's use a cross axis alignment start so it will start both will start from here and along with that if we wanted to center in a vertical way then what we need to do we need to use a main axis alignment and use a main axis alignment dot center so it will come into the center and now let's come to the second part the second part is uh, fix the overflow issue why we are getting this overflow issue because we need to define a particular width of this section okay so this is our column widget okay and this is our image widget okay which is inside the row widget okay so now think that this whole widget is a i mean this whole thing is a one widget and this is a second widget okay so to adjust this thing i mean what we need to do is we face the same kind of problem while working on a product detail to fix this issue 
what we did we use a flexible widget okay what we did we wrap the whole thing inside a flexible widget okay flexible and we define a flex to one right and uh, now you got that the overflow issue is gone but what we need to do is we need to just uh, uh, add a text overflow property over here if we have a large text so what I will do I will go here and I will add a style again and I will work on a text style okay and uh, inside the text style the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to decrease the font weight of this particular text so I will use a font weight dot w300 I wanted to give a font weight of 300 okay and I wanted to reduce a font size as well so let's use a 13 as of now so those two thing is added if I will use 14 14 is also good okay and uh, yeah now the overflow issue is gone I mean I mean now it is not coming in a second line but let's add some more text so it will come on a second line so to remove that uh, what we did we use our overflow text overflow eclipses okay so that eclipses will come here so it will not take more uh, height and uh, let's add some kind of size I mean text box so suppose uh, if, if, if you can see that if I will add a multiple text then you will find that uh, it is kind of using a three dot okay but it it will take a year till year so what I will do that this is our first widget right and uh, we are inside a row I wanted to add some padding between the whole first widget and the image widget for that I will use a size box and in the size box I will go into some kind of width around uh, maybe 10 and uh, I will hit the save I think it should work but why it is not working let me refresh the page again okay if I will increase to 18 okay let's use a 25 at least okay 20 will fine okay or let's use 25 <laughs> yeah so so we got some I'm doing this thing because you know that I don't have exact padding in all because I don't have a figma design so yeah but it's working fine let's remove the linkedin cons add a cons so uh the main part is that we have achieved something okay and uh, if you think that it should be have some padding from the left and right so every container widget have a padding as well let's try that it will work or not i mean it should work let's add a symmetric padding in a horizontal around 20 okay so it's gone to four let's use 10 okay so we got something over here okay so we have a title we have a subtitle uh, along with the image let's forget about the the this this part as of now but uh, we got what we wanted okay and uh, now we need to work on the expanding I mean add some child over here okay so this was our first widget and uh, we achieved something over here okay it is not exactly but we will do the finish touch later once we will finish I mean wrap whole video on this topic okay but we got something so we created our reusable uh, child uh, widget and we need to work on the second widget that second widget is the let's use that this one this is the, our second level of the drop down okay so let's work on that and uh, for that what we need to do is um, we're going to create a new file that will be a sub main or you can suggest the name because I have a problem on a naming convention sub main category tile dot dot okay so this is our second file first thing first let's import the material dot dot package 
and uh, let's uh, use a stateless widget again and here I will use a sub main category type okay and uh, why I'm doing this thing again because you can see that again we are repeating the same thing over here okay that's why I'm creating uh, like this particular widget as of now okay and it's really simple we don't need to worry about anything again we will going to use a uh, expansion tile okay and you can think straightforward because we don't need to trick anything here we just have uh, uh, this now you will get to know uh, okay so here if I will go I talk about the four property every tile have title subtitle leading and trailing okay now it's time to use a leading one okay so you know about the title and uh, the title will going to be a simple text widget here because here we don't have anything we just have to show some text so let's support we will show a top here so this is our first title so if I will expand here then you should see this once I will use it okay once I will use it on main category tile uh, as I already told that whatever you will put inside a uh, children will be shown once we will expand our tile okay so you can see that we got uh, top here along with this thing okay and uh, um, so this is our first children okay and why I am using the expansion tile again over here because once you will expand uh, this particular section you have an option to expand a second level of the accordion okay where you will get an option like this okay so yeah so we are working on a second level that's why we are using expansion tile again so here we added our title and I was talking about that along with the title widget we will I mean title property we will going to use a leading and as of now I don't have this particular image but uh, let's try to use this thing again and uh, let's use image dot asset but this time we will uh, just I mean yeah let me just use asset I will just going to copy and paste because it will kind of throw an error I mean I do a lot of mistake while using this asset that's why I will do use a copy and pasting so we got that particular thing over here but uh, I just don't want to occupy everything because you can see that it's not I mean it have some top padding as well so for that I will do one thing I will wrap this particular image inside a container and let's provide a uh, height let's use a padding widget over here i will use edge inset dot uh, symmetric or let's use only let's provide some top padding edge 20 and uh, bottom padding edge 10 okay so it uh, okay let's use 5 because it's too small let's use 10 now it is kind of looking good and uh, let's use 10 over here also no uh, let's use 5 and along with that we have to do something uh, I guess we need to decrease the top padding as well to 5 okay and increase some sort of padding over here okay and uh, yeah we added this particular padding over here and uh, let's go on the the first part let's uh, we can add some padding into the left also let's add some left padding around 20 okay and uh, 10 be good seven would be good okay. I just need to find a exact kind of image and size so let's not worry about this whole thing okay so yeah let's 
let's work on this style first so let's use a text style again and uh, let's use font weight first the font weight will going to change font weight will going to be font weight dot bold okay so now we got the top here with have a font with bold instead of that let's use 700 font which will be good or let's use a 600 and let's increase some sort of size of the font uh, let's use a 15 at least or let's use 18 okay and uh, yeah we got it uh, we added that particular thing okay and uh, so and that thing came okay so this is a first level child and when we expand the first level child we will see the second level child which have image we will come to this image part later okay and which have a top here i mean the title as well title also have some sort of padding from the leading i mean let's have some large padding from the leading so i will do one thing i will add right as well here and i will do 10 maybe which will work yeah so yeah it got some padding and uh, if i will expand here nothing will happen because again every uh, just like uh, in the previous compo uh, widget we added a children similarly we have to add a children over here okay and here what i will do i will just simply add a simple text as of now so here if you see the third level it's nothing it's just a, a simple uh, text okay so let's work on that part as well so yeah let's decrease this to the 17 okay and uh, if i will just copy and paste over here then you will find that we have a multiple option over here okay uh, we will do the f uh, finishing later like adding some color and I will, I will come come with the color code and all for every uh, Every tile and the background so that part we will get in the next video. Let's create some kind of uh, skeleton over here. Okay, so We added this particular section. Let's add a third Section that will be a category uh, or we can say the last category that will be suitable for this okay so last category dot dot file so this video is actually large and i just wanted to wrap this thing Oops. import material dot dot package and uh, let's use a stateless widget again and uh, in this last category tile or uh, we can use the same name so in this what we will going to do that if, if you just see over here it's a, just a simple text but uh, it have certain amount of padding it's, it have certain amount of uh, I mean it have uh, two things the first thing is the text along with it have a divider so we need to add those part okay and for that either we can use a padding widget or let's use a container widget okay um, and i will add a child and in the child i'm going to use a column widget because as you can see that it have a two thing in a vertical way the first thing is the uh, text and the second thing is the divider so for that let's add a children and let's add a text widget and let's use a t-shirt as of now okay remember we are just creating a reusable widget over here we will going to use it okay well, i mean we're going to make a api call fetch all the data related to the category and we're going to use it again and again okay so it is just a ui creation part but the actual part will come once we will create a, once we will uh, use this ui for creating a, a, a this whole category thing okay so 
expansion tile of the subcategory uh, we haven't added the children property so let's add that children property and visualize uh, the ui we are creating so if i will expand that particular section then you will find that t set is added over here and uh, yeah so column widget again to get access of the horizontal we will use the cross axis alignment and uh, let's use a cross axis alignment to start okay and let's use container width to media query dot op context dot size dot width okay so that came here and uh, what i just wanted to do is let's add a second children will going to be a divider divider okay so that thing is also came but i had to increase a thickness a little bit like two okay so that is added and uh, what i wanted to do i uh, why i use this container because i wanted to use some padding and let's use the edge and say dot only because it have a unequal padding the first padding will be uh, uh, left 20 and right is 10 so 30 plus the uh, width of this particular image so we can see that uh, it will be around 50 or so so if i will use a left here as a 50 then you will find that t-set is came let's use uh, around a 60 so that padding padding is came here okay and it should have uh, some amount of padding okay should start from here only i guess yeah so it should have a padding to the top as well so let's add some padding to top and uh, how much we can think uh, it can be around 30 or 40 again i'm saying that i just don't have a figma design that's why i'm not able to predict that how much padding it should have but yeah if i will add 20 then it will be uh, like let's add 15 okay and it should have some bottom padding as well so we can think that top and bottom should have equal amount uh, not not equal amount of padding because it's this kind of uh, if i will just try to do one thing that if i will just copy this tile here okay then we will find that it should have some different amount of padding okay and uh, yeah it should have some padding in the t-shirt and the divider as well but we will come to that part later and it should have a padding to the right as well and how much padding it should have it should have around 10 only i guess okay and uh, might be 15 okay and uh, let's come to this thickness part it should be 1.5 or something first or just one okay and the color I, as of now we are using that will not be the same color of everything i will come to that part later but let's add a style text style and uh, let's use a color uh, not a color as of now uh, font size it should be a 15 around i guess and uh, yeah so okay so it should be like this only so if i will expand so this is our first thing and once we will expand this thing then it will be a second level and it will be a third level and the whole thing will going to be a uh, clickable so uh, the whole container i can wrap with the icon uh, inkwell another widget okay and uh, if i will just use on tap okay then you will find simple ripple effect will come okay 
so that's it for this video because this video is very large uh, i mean very long so before that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me to make more videos thank you all happy coding see you on our next video